morning, students. I'm so excited to be here with you today because I am going to let you know all of the tools that will be at your fingertips on your mock star that is coming up very shortly. I'm gonna show you what tools you have for your reading test, your math test, and of course, your science test so that you can eliminate those answers you know to be wrong and decide on the best answer. Are you ready? This is pretty important and this is gonna be awesome because there's lots of cool tools that you can use on the STAR test. And I'm gonna show you all of them right now. Here we go. First off, we're gonna click next down here at the bottom and that's gonna take us to the next screen. And I'm gonna go through these test directions for you because I think they have a lot of great information. So test questions are shown one at a time. If you cannot see all of a test question or passage, there will be a scroll bar on the right side and you can use that scroll bar to move the screen up and move it down. Read each question carefully and determine the best answer. For multiple choice questions, select the best answer from the four answer choices provided. Only one answer can be selected for each question. There's only one answer choice. That is correct. That is the best answer. For grittable questions, determine the best answer and type it into the boxes. You may not need to use all of the boxes. Remember that, you may not need to use all of the boxes, um, but uh, just type in the correct answer and I'm sure you'll get it right. So we're gonna click next to go on to the next page. So as you move through the test, you're gonna click on any question number to go to that question. This will be in the bottom of your screen. It will have the test questions for you. And it'll also have the back and next buttons are for moving between pages on the test. So the back is gonna take you to previous questions that you've already looked at. And the next is gonna take you to the questions that you haven't seen yet. We're gonna click next to go on to the next page. As you move through the test, now there's a helper here for you. You can click mark for review for any question that you want to review. It's gonna be right here, kind of up here in this part of your screen. For any question that you wanna review at a later time. So say you answered a question and you're not quite sure, you've narrowed it down to two options, but you're still not sure and you might just wanna come back to it later with a fresh mind and try it again. Um, you can mark it for review and this will place a little flag next to that number and you'll remember, it will remind you to go back and to go over that question one more time. Um, to see all the questions that have been marked for review, you can click on the review end button right here. It's going to be in the bottom of your screen and you'll be able to see which ones um, have a flag and which ones do not. We're going to click next to go on to the next page. Okay, the tools. You're going to have tools up here. There are several tools available for this test. Each tool can be accessed by clicking on the icon in the toolbars at the top of the screen. So these icons will help you uh, use the different tools that are available to you. You also have tools on this side of the screen and it will say tools. It has this little icon with a pencil and a, a some type of tool there. I'm not good, good with my tools. I know it's not a screwdriver. Is it a wrench? That's probably a wrench. <laughs> it's going to give you a list of tools that are going to be available to you here. Like eliminator is a tool that most people have. Okay, and what's pretty cool, you can highlight text. So if you wanna look at things and highlight them, important words in the word problem, if you're taking your math test or whatever it might be, you can highlight the text. All you have to do is select the text and on the screen, a menu will open and you can hit highlight or you can erase the highlight that you made. So that's pretty cool as well. So click next to go to the next page. Okay, here we go. Let's go to the real test. Okay, I'm gonna look at these answer choices. Plastic is a good insulator, that's true. Plastic can melt when heated, that's sometimes true too. Plastic is softer than wire, true. Plastic conducts electricity. No, it doesn't conduct electricity. So the one tool up here I can use is Eliminator. I click on it and I eliminate the answer choice I know to be wrong, okay? I also have a pencil here where I can write notes on the side, um, whatever might help me to answer the question correctly. I can change it to red, I can change it to blue, I can change it to green. Um, you can definitely use those if you need them. There's also points and lines, and there's an eraser, so you can erase those lines as well. And I have to click right on them to erase all of those lines. 
So that is another tool that you can use if you want to put some keywords um, beside uh, each answer choice to decide if you know if you whatever keywords that you need to put there to help you know and choose the best answer. Now up here at the top, you still have these tools. This is the speak tool. So all I have to do is click on a word. Electricity. And it will read it for me. Um, I can have it read the two whole thing. Wires carrying electricity can create a spark if they come too close together. This spark can Or start. I can have it just read one word. So that is the speak tool. I also have audio which this is more for audio settings. I can increase the audio or I can decrease the audio of the lady speaking. You probably want to leave text to speech as normal um, because we, because that's normal. You, <laughs> unless you are used to hearing people talk real fast or real slow, um, I would probably leave that the same, but this is a place where you can change the volume. You can also zoom into the question. You can make it bigger. You can move from one side to the other or up and down. Um, you can make it even bigger in case you can't see it, and you can just exit out of that, and that will take you back to the original screen. There is color as well, so if I wanted to change this to black with white lettering, I can definitely do that. Um, but I would probably keep it with default because this is what you're used to seeing, and you don't want your eyes to be strained or anything like that by looking at it a different way. But if you have seen it a different way, this is a place where you can change that. There's also a place for you to pause the test and to come back later. Okay, this is what you have for the science test. Don't forget that down here you have your review and end button. So if I wanted to come back, I can mark this for review, this particular question, and come back to it. Do you see how it has a little flag here? And then I know, and then I can go to the next question. Okay, now let's look at a different test. Okay, now I'm going to take you through the reading test and the tools that you might have for the reading mock star test and the reading star test. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here is what the reading mock star test will look like. And here are the tools that you have. Now you have the same tools over here that you had in uh, your, on your science test. You can have it read to you. Read the selection and choose the best answer to each question. This selection is about the doodle designs. Okay. Or um, and you definitely have the chance to change the audio, turn up the volume if you need to, and also to zoom in if you can't see it as well. Okay? Change the color, pause. They're all here the same as the science test. Over here on the side, for these tools specific to our reading test, you can see that we have a guide. So this can help you keep your place. This is wonderful. I would definitely use this. So as you're reading, you can just move this down so that you can make sure that you're staying in line with what you're reading, which is very helpful on a computer. I love it. You also, and all you have to do to get rid of that line is to click the guideline again and it goes away. Also, as you go to the questions, you can use the eliminator and eliminate the question you know to be wrong and then choose the best answer. And there's also a pencil where you can write. Like this is important right here. <laughs> Now don't forget you also have the highlighter option. So if I wanted to highlight world famous doodles, all I have to do is highlight it with my mouse and then click highlight and it will highlight it for it, it for me in the reading passage that will stay there. Pretty cool. So those are the different tools that you have for the reading test. are with the math test now. Woohoo! Let's look at the tools that the math test gives us to help us with our STAR assessment. Okay, here is a math problem. You will see at the bottom we have all of the questions just like every other test. We have the back button to go to the previous questions. We have the next button to go to the next question. We have our mark for review how we can flag our question if we want to come back to it. And I can take that off if I want to as well. <laughs> we also have our speak, audio, zoom, color, and pause up here at the top that we can use to help us with this problem. And then we have a ton of tools here that are pretty awesome that we get to use in our math test. First off, the eliminator. I think you know that one. We're eliminating the answer choice we know to be wrong. 
and all we have to do is click on it again for it to go away and to be the normal uh, pointing finger again or pointing arrow. We have our formula charts. We have our reference materials for our formulas, perimeter, area, and volume. And I can just exit to get rid of it. I can also take my formula chart and I can move it wherever I needed to move it if I want to get it out of the way. Um, we have our conversion table, which is our length, our volume and capacity, and our weight and mass measurements in customary and metric units. We have our ruler that we can use to measure things. And all I have to do is click on it again and it goes away. We also have graph paper that we can use to uh, plot points. Boink. Boink. <laughs> or to make lines, say I'm trying to find the perimeter of this particular square. So my graph paper can help me. I can also delete um, things if I'm going on to another problem. Yay. Okay, so you got graph paper, you got a ruler, you have conversion tables, the formula charts, you have an eliminator, and you also have a pencil that you can write down. Uh, if I was to have to add one plus one, is two. <laughs> um, you'll probably be doing problems harder than that, but this allows you to write things down as well. And then I can erase it if I want it to, my paper to be beautiful. There you go. Okay, so this is the tools that are given on your math test. Okay, so we have the options up here and we also have our tools here for our specific test. I think you know what to do. You can definitely practice on your STAR online platform. There's a practice button that you can choose to practice all of these different tools so that you'll be ready for the mock test coming up uh, really, really soon. I know you're going to do a great job. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask your teacher. Your teacher can help you and make anything that seems complicated or anything that uh, you need additional information about. They can help you to know exactly what to do on these particular tests so that you can do your best work and choose the best answer. Okay, I will talk to you next time. Good job, Scholar. You have learned all the tools at your fingertips for the STAR online platform. You've got this. Show them what you know.